Hello everyone and welcome to my Coronation Street official. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Kind-hearted Roy Cropper, David Nielsen, makes a mistake in Coronation Street that could jeopardize his future in Weatherfield. Following Lauren Bolton's, Kate Fitton, disappearance, Roy learned from Evelyn, Maureen Lippman, that her landlord was unhappy she was subletting the property. Roy, who was frequently seen watching out for Lauren, took it upon himself to clean the flat for Evelyn, but when Bobby, Jack Carroll, came, he was suspicious and wondered if Roy was hiding something. Roy's good nature comes back to haunt him in this new video when he is questioned by D.S. Swain, Vicky Myers, and Craig, Colson Smith. In the coffee, Swain is intrigued about Roy's plans for Lauren's stuff. He admits that the garbage was placed in the bin and that he is washing some of her items in the upper apartment. An error. Roy informs Swain and Craig that he is cleaning Lauren's clothes so that they are ready for her when she returns. A sweet gesture but to Swain, it appears suspect. Unfortunately for Roy, the faults don't end there. He then tells the detective that collecting his fingerprints will be ineffective because he was wearing rubber gloves while cleaning the flat. Oh dear. Vicky Myers, who plays D.S. Swain, informed us that he comes himself in the frame when she interviews Bobby, and some aspects of that interaction generate suspicion. Then she goes ahead and interviews Roy, and I believe because of his honesty and small fragility, she realizes he's almost too good to be true. I believe that this is indicative of the cynics that we may become as individuals and a community, in that it almost appears too good to be true. Do people really go out of their way to aid, support and give someone a little extra after they've done something bad, and they're generous? So she rips it apart and thinks, that can't be right. This raises suspicion, and it really continues from there. Coronation Street will provide an update on Eliza Woodrow's, Savannah Cunio, decision to live with her father Dom Everett, Darren Morfitt, in upcoming scenes. Elisa initially appeared on the ITV soap in the summer of 2022, when grandfather Stu Carpenter, Bill Fellows, took custody of her due to the imprisonment of her mother Bridget, Beth Weiss, and grandmother Lucy, Linda Rook. Stu had completed a 27-year term for the death of a girl he worked with in the 1980s, but it was Bridget who killed her, with Lucy assisting in placing the blame on her husband. After his time inside, he was forced destitute and separated from his family, but after getting his life back on track and marrying Yasmin Metcalf, Shelley King, he chose to contact them. Unaware that his family had accused him in the killing, newly reviewed DNA evidence showed the exact circumstances surrounding the death and the women were sentenced, with Stu receiving a £200,000 compensation payment. Elisa struggled to fit into Weatherfield life and contacted her father Dom last year, prompting Stu to hire a private investigator to look into him. When he found out he had another family in Germany, he was adamant that his granddaughter would not accompany him and paid him to go for good. Don was caught snooping around again this week and was forced to repay the £10,000 bribe money. In future scenes, Elisa discovers the money in Stu's coat pocket in an envelope labeled I'm sorry I let Elisa down. Flanagan, she hunts her father down to the Chariot Square Hotel and brings him back to Speed Doll for a heated conversation. Stu and Yasmin are saddened when the girl admits she isn't ready to lose her father again and wants to move to Germany. Seeing how badly she wants to leave, Stu makes the heartbreaking decision to let her spend two weeks with him during the approaching school holidays with the intention of moving there permanently. Leanne Battersby, Jane Danson, and Nick Tilsley, Ben Price, have had a rocky few months on Coronation Street after Leaning supported her stepson Simon Barlow, Alex Bain, who endangered Nick's son Sam, Jude Riordan, by driving intoxicated. While the couple has been engaged, again, Nick isn't persuaded that Lean wants to go ahead with the wedding arrangements, as Ben Price just revealed. He's not happy about it, he admitted. One, it'll cost a fortune, and two, he says, could we just slow things down a little so it's not too soon or too fast? It will cost me a lot of money, and I still don't know where I am. So to be honest, I think he's attempting to weasel his way out. Let's have a think. Let's give it six months. This may not sound like a recipe for a happy ending, but Ben made it obvious that Nick is still committed to leaning.
I don't think he's certain, but it's not huge enough to say, I don't want to get married. He loves her. He adores her. Despite the current challenges in the relationship, Ben emphasized that Nick and Leonie still have a future and that the hardships are what make the relationship realistic. Like with any lengthy relationship, it shouldn't be that you can't start talking honestly without it all falling because they're a long-term couple, he said. I believe he has not entirely figured out what his thoughts are. You have to believe that it ebbs and flows like any long-term marriage, given how long they have been together. They fit in their lives for quite some time. New challenges await Lean when she falls under the spell of Rowan, M. Rice Cooper, the head of a clandestine organization known as the Institute. Nick is first unconcerned about this, but as Lean gets more drawn to Rowan, it becomes an issue. Could this be the end for Nick and Lean? Ben expressed hope that the relationship, like so many others, will withstand the storm. I think Nick and Lean are probably forever in my heart, he said. I believe the audience values long-term perspectives. You want them to be saying, oh, I can't believe she did that, while watching television. I can't believe what he did. They will get back together. I know they will. People invest in their relationships. I've invested in this relationship. But you should be willing to shatter all of that and investigate where it came from. Yes, it should be rocky. Yes, other people should always enter the relationship in a show like this. Yes, you should fall deeply in love with that narrative and person at the time. I believe that is important in this show. It is the nature of soap operas that a collaboration, no matter how long-standing and popular with the viewers, cannot be guaranteed to endure, and the actors are constantly open to the possibility that things will change. While Ben is aware of this, he also enjoys working with Jane Danson and wants to see it continue. We both have a similar way of working. We've known each other for a long time, it's very easy on set, it's a bit of a dream, and that's what you want to keep doing, he said. But Jane's been around longer than me and has had a lot of relationships, so she understands that you have to be willing to really participate in that. And then the producers announce, oh, we're going this way. Great, we go that route. But at the moment, I believe there is a route back for them. There are troubled times ahead in Coronation Street, as numerous members of the titular street are at the center of dark and distressing stories next week, according to Metro's new images. The investigation into Lauren Bolton's, Kate Fitton, this appearance heats up, with Bobby, Jack Carroll, telling D.S. Swain, Vicky Myers, who was just promoted to the ITV Soap's main cast, about his suspicions concerning Roy Cropper, David Nielsen. Bobby recalls how famed cafe owner Roy hired Lorena and got her a place to live. Max Turner, Patty Bever, has his own suspicions and quickly points the finger at Daniel Osborne, Rob Mallard. Daniel fears the worst when Swain probes his relationship with Nikki Wheatley, Kimberly Hart Simpson, and Summer Spellman, Harriet Bibby, but suspicion quickly returns to Roy, and as you can see in my photos above, he is arrested for Lauren's suspected murder. The narrative in question is not the only nasty one on offer next week, as Lean Battersby, Jane Danson, brings Simon Barlow, Alex Bain, to a session hosted by the Institute at the Chariot Square Hotel. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.